Vision Free. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. You can be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me and I fucking love it. Thank you so much. I'm doing, I think it's day two maybe of palette week. I'm showing different parts of my eyeshadow palette collection in different ways. I've done the top five in each category. So I have, oh gosh, affordable, custom, large, high-end, and luxury. So I picked five from each of those categories. And now I'm going to show you my 10-ish oldest palettes that I have, okay? Um, and I'll explain along the way. These are the 10 that I remember being the oldest. Now, I could have looked in my inventory because I have an inventory of when I purchased. Uh, I didn't feel like doing that. These are the 10, I, the ones I remember to be the oldest. This is the first palette I ever bought. This is the Rock Pro. This is the second one. I panned the first one. Um, I don't use this. I really don't but I'm not ready to let go of it. Um, it's an excellent palette. I mean, it's beautiful. I just don't use it. I really don't. Um, after I panned the first one, I was so excited that I had done that. Um, I just, uh, there's so many, there's such much more exciting things for me now, but I still really like, like this would be a palette, like if I was to travel um, and I just needed something that new worked every time, this would be it. So I'm just not ready to let go. Another one of my firsts was the um, Rainforest of the Sea Volume 1. Oh, shit. Hold on. I knew that was happening, too. Okay. This is the Rainforest of the Sea Volume 1. You can see I've got some dents and some damage in that bad boy. Um, when I first got into makeup, I was very much into Tarte. And I used to wear all their shades and uh, all their little small palettes. I had a, all of them. It might be time to let this one go, though, because there's not a lot of pigment in it. I don't know. I'm going to set this to the side. This was a really good starter palette, and uh, I'm really grateful that I had an opportunity to spend time with it. So we'll see. This one I've, I've already put on sale on Mercari. This is the Too Faced. I got the big one chocolate bar. Um, I already repurchased this, okay? Um, I really do like this as a neutral palette, but look at the... <laughs> I had this for like four or five years and you see like I've made some dips but I can't hit pan in this bitch. This thing is so densely packed you just cannot make pan in this. Um, I did repurchase a new one brand new and it was at a discounted price. I think I paid $15 for it uh, and I'm going to go ahead and sell this one. But it was a good starter palette and that's why I want to keep that one in the rock. Um, but I think I will let this one go. I, mean, I haven't decided. This one, this was my first collab palette. This is the Kathleen in Lights and Morphe palette. I love this palette. And just like everybody else on that top row, the second one and the fourth one, or I don't know which way it's going to read from, I think, I, no. Look, that one and that one. Those are the two that I like the most. I'm not ready to get rid of it. I really like it a lot. It's a great warm neutral palette. It's got some beautiful colors. So I really enjoy this palette. At the time, I was really into Kathleen Lights. Not so much anymore, but that's what's happening. Another one. This one I bought off of Glambot. Remember Glambot? This is the Buxom Dolly's Wild Side. Do you see how much I've used this? See, there was a point where I used to use my shit a lot. Um, I really love this palette, but I think I'm ready to let it go too. This is so sad. I wasn't expecting to do, yeah, this has gotta go. Okay, there's three. I wasn't expecting to do this at all, but I, it's showing me like, girl, let that shit go. Let somebody else love it. Um, this is the, okay, these two are gum together. This is the Makeup Forever. Artist palettes. This is a volume one. I love this palette. I still use this all the time. And I actually like this formula better than their current formula. It's a beautiful neutral palette. Yes, they're all shimmers, but you can certainly rock a shimmer in the crease if you feel like it. And this is the volume two. Now this one doesn't look like it have a lot of wear on it because I have two volume twos. A friend of mine gifted me this one and so I'm selling the one that I've already used. Okay, now this one, I think this is my second or third Urban Decay Electric Palette. I love this palette. I don't give a shit what anybody says about it being pigmented or, or, or like too pigmented or not safe for the eyes. What the hell ever. It is gorgeous. These two, my first um, rainbow look, I used these two. I love this palette. Definitely gonna rock with this. Now, this, oh, this is not made for me. Like, this is a... This is definitely an old palette. I've had it for a long time. This is a Gwen Stefani and Urban Decay palette. This is not made for me because it has all these shades right here that are very light. I have used it in a second chance, last chance, and I did come up with a look that I really liked and I, I did wear it. I don't know. This will have to be, 
I have to reconsider keeping that one. This one is going, I already repurchased this. Um, I think I'm gonna throw this out because I think it's going bad. I've never had a palette go bad ever in my life, but I feel like that it's like the, there's too much hard pan and there shouldn't be, but I got some dips in it. Those peachy shades. So this one is going. This is the Tartlet in Bloom. I love this palette. This is one of my first, very first um, eyeshadow palettes. I love this. And they made it so easy the way they set up the rows and everything. I love this palette. The Modern Renaissance. This is my second Modern Renaissance. Okay, but this is not my second because I panned the first because I hated the first one actually. Um, but when I got into wearing purples and stuff, they had this one on sale on Beauty Bay during Christmas, like really discounted. So I repurchased it for a couple of reasons. Now I have all the Anastasia palettes from the Lavish Forward, okay? Um, which is like a big thing for me. And, <clears throat> excuse me, two, um, I know that I wear a lot more purples. I can probably make those pinks work as well. So that's why I repurchased this. So this I actually had, got rid of, and now I have again. This is actually my favorite Naked palette. This is a Naked 2. This one I purchased before the Naked 1, and I think this is loose. This is a gorgeous palette. I just really like this one. There's one, maybe, this is kind of like a, yeah, there's two. Looks like there's only two shimmers, two mattes in this. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. I'm fucking careful. And then here's the other one that I really like that I also used to wear a lot. This is the Naked Smoky. This is a beautiful smoky palette. And I think it has, does it have more? Yeah, it does. Down here has these deeper mattes, which are great for people of color. I don't think it has any, too many lighter mattes. And it's still an excellent, yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm loving this. It's sad that they discontinued this because it's a really good palette. Um, they should have discontinued the Naked 3. So anyway, those are my first, I don't know, 10 or so palettes. Um, here, these are the ones I am. I'm gonna get rid of these. These four, one, two, three, four. I've already, re oop, already repurchased this. I already repurchased this. I'm just waiting to haul it. Um, I'm gonna let this go. It makes me sad. I'm gonna let this go. Because it even has a Glam Bot sticker on it. You see that? That's how old it is. I don't know about this one though. Something in me wants to keep this palette. I'm not sure. And the looks that I come out of it with, I love, they're just very limited. I'm going to pray on this one. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Golly. <coughs> I might buy a new one of this because um, I've heard a lot of people complain about um, once they've had this for a while that it starts to turn bad. I don't, I don't experience that. I only have had this the one palette, the... Sweet Peach is the first one I had that experience with, but no, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is fine. So yeah, guys, that's what's, uh, let's see the, I'm tempted, let's see. The Electric Palette, I have not tried the new one, the Wired, or I'm not interested in it because it doesn't look like anything I'd wear. Yeah, that silver is lit. Yeah, and then that's the green. It's beautiful. There's the other one. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm really glad that these palettes have been in my life, and some of them are staying longer than others, and some of them have been repurchased and given another opportunity. So, um, thank you for hanging out with me, guys. I really hope you're enjoying Palette Week. Um, if things are going sideways in your life, just remember it gets real, it gets different, it gets real fucking different. Hang out with the right guys. Thank you so much.